Hey, it's Ren here with Unmask Your Magic, and I'm just doing a fabric unboxing video. So I had an order from Joann's put in like six weeks ago, and of course things are taking a little bit longer right now than they normally do, so part of that package just arrived. So I have it here. It's pretty big. So I'm just going to leave it down there. And then I also have a package I'm going to unwrap. It's from a good friend of mine. And it's just like a some supplies for sewing. So I got these fabrics um, for velvet bell bottoms that I'll be making for the Etsy shop coming up. Um, and here is the first one. I'm so excited. Okay. It is a blush pink velvet. So that is beautiful and I'm not going to unfold it all here. I do have to wash all these so I'm just going to take them down to the basement. But look how pretty that is. So that's a like velvet. It's blush pink. It's stretchy and it's going to make beautiful, beautiful velvet bells, beautiful flares. It's going to drape really well. So I also got that. Oh, here's some thread. They were out of white and black, which I sew with white and black a lot, like even if the fabric isn't white and black. Um, so this is like an off-white eggshell Coats and Clark. It's the only thing I buy. That's what my grandmother and my mama used. So here is the next one. It's This is the Aqua Velvet, Aqua Velvet from Joann's. And on the internet, it looks like more blue. It even looks more blue on the camera right now, but it's actually like way more aqua. So that is the same as the blush pink. It's like a really drapey, stretchy, soft, buttery velvet. And I would love to make bell bottoms out of this too. So next is, oh, this stuff is like to die for. I I want a night robe made out of this. Look how beautiful. It's so bright. I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but like it's got yellow and pink and blue. And it's like it almost looks like little birdies, but it's not birds, it's floral. And that was called like burnt ember floral velvet. It's got kind of like a sheer mesh mixed in with like the velvet floral and those would make gorgeous bells but i'm more thinking about this as like sleeves something with big beautiful sleeves look at that hang on um so you can see how that looks i mean i can see that like you know big bell sleeves but i would really love to make like a night like gown like um a robe out of that it's so pretty and lastly yeah, i wasn't sure if i was going to be a fan of this when i got it because i don't like gold a lot but it's really pretty and i could see this as bell bottoms or like a really beautiful night robe or some sort of like goddess style shirt with really long bell sleeves so i'm a fan it's got lavender flowers it's got red flowers and like olive color leaves on this yellow gold velvet lastly oh my god oh, i'm so excited about this oh this is a dream come true because this is purple velour and I've wanted a pair of purple velour flares for a very long time. So I actually got this for myself. I think I just got like four or six yards of it. So it's like just enough for like maybe two pairs of pants, two or three pairs of pants. So I don't know if I'll be putting this in the shop or not, but like, oh, I will be making some velvet bells out of this for myself. Now there's no stretch to this really. Oh, there's a little bit of a stretch, but I oh, know I could see this as like a beautiful suit 
a really tailored suit with a sharp lapel. Oh my goodness, yeah, if, if I have enough of this, it would be amazing to make actually a velour purple bell bottom with with a really fitted tailored jacket with a gorgeous lapel. So yeah, this is much thicker than the velvets that I have underneath. This is the velour. And oh, this could be used to make a coat or I mean anything like that. So that is all the fabric that I have in that box. I'm so fucking excited. I got all this on sale. This is my first um I'd say okay, this is my second fabric haul in you know um a long time. Like I haven't bought fabric in so long and I just started again because I really wanted to get serious about like getting back to creating stuff and um, making a living doing that. So yeah, I got all this on sale though because it's not worth it to pay like full price for for fabrics in my opinion, especially from Joanne's the quality um, uh, it's hit or miss. So um, until you know if you're getting a good quality, you know, you don't want to pay a lot for something, but these feel like really decent quality. And I have used this velvet before, so um, I feel good about this. But I got them for like, it was $5.99 a yard, which is a freaking steal. So I got that, all of this, everything was $5.99 a yard. So I think I got like four to six yards each, which isn't a lot, but it's enough to, you know, put out some options and um, make some cool creations. So I'm excited about that. Um, if you, I have to wash all that, so I just shove it right in the box. You always wash your new fabric when you get it, so that if any you know, shrinking is going to occur, it happens before you create a garment in the size that you need. Um, okay, so I'm looking for my, I'm looking for my thread. My friend sent me this package, and I, it's she's one of those friends that we don't always talk but we always care about each other and i just thought it was so sweet that she just came out of the blue and sent me this thread when she saw that i was sewing mask so let's take a look it's super exciting i feel so like touched and lucky that she sent me some threads so we've got some red this is serger thread for my my serger right here um some gray white got some ribbon super cute little patterns we've got brown brown white white and white so that's amazing these are like four dollars a piece nowadays so i mean and they're also out of stock everywhere and it's really hard to get them so i mean not only was that just a super nice thing that she did but also it was kind of a lifesaver so i just feel really amazed right now and happy so that is my fabric and thread haul for now um i have my fabric from the last fabric that i received um so maybe i'll make a video showing those too because i will be making stuff for the etsy shop with that so in the meantime i will be making my face mask and I will show you my personal favorite. It is my iridescent turquoise mask. Um, there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay, and then there is this other one is my other favorite. Okay. This is the Goth Moons and Stars. This is the best seller in the Etsy shop right now. And it is actually glow in the dark. Um, so that is two layers of cotton and little ear ties. And then I've been including ribbons in them lately because it gives you an additional way to adjust your mask. So you can find those on the Etsy shop. That's www.etsy.com slash shop slash unmask your magic. And thanks for watching. You can find me on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, and sometimes, sometimes TikTok. I'm trying out like making little maker videos with my sewing machine and stuff there. So 
check it out. Um, unmask your magic or unmask your magic flow on TikTok if you have to find me there. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, also, check out the website. It's www.unmaskyourmagic.com. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.